Hello, hello, and welcome to Minecraft Bedrock Survival. Now, I'm really sorry, uh, while I was recording a bit of this video, we had a power flicker, which ultimately made the first half of everything I did corrupt. So I kind of just picked up from where I left off. It sucked, yeah, but you know, I put I put the text in and everything, and I was starting to work on bringing these, uh, these masks down. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just lowering them. And yes, I am going to take them all the way to the bottom of the ship. Also following the same pattern as above, so you know, four polished, one normal. For those of you who haven't seen uh, this before, we are on Minecraft Bedrock, and we are on Hard Difficulty. And yes, I do have somebody who plays and joins with me and you know, helps me get stuff done. Because some of these projects that I'm partaking in are absolutely huge. And right here, I kinda had a problem. I, I don't have a way to get to the other side at all. So I was just like, can I go up? No, wait. I think I can do it this way. It was pretty bad. Right here, we're just adding a little bit of extra light. Um, we did have a mob problem on the ship, despite the fact that I used slabs on the upper deck. We, we were still having creepers and skeletons, zombies, uh, even pillagers show up from the sails and below here. So part of the stuff that got corrupted was me spawn-proofing the entire ship. What I ended up doing was taking black carpet and lining the sails where mobs can spawn at to prevent them from being able to spawn. Because they can spawn on carpet. I, at first I thought, hey, no, they, they can't spawn on carpet, it'll be fine. Or not carpet, but wool. And then they were spawning on the wall, and I was like, what's going on? So I had to put carpet down. Right here I had decided um, that the way I had done the other mask actually looked better. So I'm just, I'm just giving it a quick switch. Again, I'm sorry that the video's kind of short, I mean, 20 minutes, but, you know, it's not all fast-forward, montage, build, go, go, go. Uh, right here, I'm making the, uh, the table that you see in the movie. When Barbosa captures Elizabeth, they have dinner. And they have a ovalish table. Now, you can't really make small circles. So I just went with a square one. But I think it turned out pretty good. All things considered. Okay. 
and I have to put these flaps down in order to build because uh, of the way this room is designed. That section of floor is actually on the lower half of the block. So without the slabs I can't put the table in, I can't make the chairs. It's a it was a little bit of a pain, but I think it turned out okay because it kind of gave that table like that that indent hourglass cutout feature and it made the chairs seem like they were like, you know, really tall and important looking chairs. You'll see what I, what I mean here in a second, like, I still need to put the sides on. Just missing a few trapdoors. And there we go. Like I said, it, it looks fancy, it looks important. Right here, I'm making a um, kind of like a, a closet. The part that threw me off the most about this, and I wanted to make it bigger. I wanted to make it uh, three trapdoors high, but, you know, space is shit. What threw me off the most is the way the doors were connecting. See, right here, you get that thing in the middle. I, I don't want, I didn't want that, so it took me a little bit of time to figure that out. And I did eventually figure it out. After I got the closet done, I decided, hey, let's do a little bit of decorating. You know, throw in some potted plants. Like, we don't we don't have a lot of decoration blocks, really, to work with on console. It's one of the one of the bigger downsides, I think, because I can't just go and download all these awesome mods. I, I kind of have to work with what the game's given me, because I, I don't want to spend money at the marketplace. I don't, I don't have the funds for that. As much as I'd love to get some of this stuff, I can't do it. So when it comes to decorating, you kind of got to be a little creative. And I'll use a lot of potted plants, uh, workstations, like the, the lectern, the cauldron, um, the stone cutter. Very soon, um, we're going to be starting working on the ports. So, as you can kind of see off to the side there, we've already cleared out a pretty good section of the hill that was originally there, if you guys were here since the first, the start of the Pearl. Now, there was a pretty sizable hill there, and we've gotten rid of it. Throw the lectern, put on a sign. Now we gotta make the chair, because my idea here was, you know, a spot to write down the Pearl's adventures. Not that it's going anywhere, but, you know, immersion. <laughs> so I made the same, you know, kind of fancy chair that I had made at the bigger table. Once I had gotten the 
chair done, I uh, wanted to put one of those books and quills in. But I kind of forgot how to make it, so, you know, quick little search. And I don't want to tell you how long it took me to find a squid. <laughs> but I did eventually find one. And bam! You know, a nice little area for somebody to come in and write down, you know, what they're up to. And it is a little dark in here, so I decided, you know, to put up some more lights. Now, obviously, you know, you gotta have a light right over your, uh, your writing desk. And you definitely need a light for over the table. Uh, part of what I want to do is make another map of kind of like this area and put the map kind of like at the head of the table. You know, maybe maybe uh, just a single zoomed out map of the area that's been filled out. Not entirely sure how I want to do that, but yeah, no, this is the captain's quarters. More or less finished for now, until I go raid an ancient city for more decoration. Then it was time to make the cannons operational. And I had a pretty good idea how I wanted to do it. Um, what I'm going to do is put down two observers facing away from the dispenser and then put a stone button on it. That'll make it to where you can fire whatever's in the dispenser. So right here is kind of like the layout for, you know, making it look like a cannon. Now obviously not every dispenser is going to have its cannon set up, but I figured most of them should. Like some of them are just, they're up too high, or they're, they're in a spot where I really can't do, like this one right here is kind of in a weird spot. Uh, the two that are on the, the front of the ship, no, the back of the ship are kind of in a weird spot. They're, they're up a little higher, as you can kind of see right there. So, I didn't do those ones. I guess I could. It, it probably wouldn't be all that hard to make like a, a small little lifted platform back here. And here's a demonstration of how this works. You put the lever on top to make it kind of look like a fuse or something. Put a button on the front, that's actually what's gonna fire it. And then you put some buttons on the side to make it, you know, decorational. Those, those side buttons don't do anything. And you load some ammo into your dispenser, whether it be fireworks, gas balls, arrows, and uh, solitaires here to see how this works. So, I had her jump up here and show you know, it's two observers that are facing away from a dispenser. The dispenser, I'll point out here in a second. So the dispenser is right there. And if you flip this lever, nothing happens. Like nothing, it doesn't shoot at all. But, if you push the button, A stone button would be faster, which is why I want to use stone. I just shot out six arrows pretty quickly, and I only recovered four of them. I don't know where the other two went. Like, they got distance. That's pretty far. So I decided to uh, switch up the trapdoors for one. I figured the dark oak trapdoors look more like wheels, because they have those little, like, cutouts. And when the cannons fire, in actuality, the cannons will actually scoop back a little bit. That way you can reload them. 
So that was, that was kind of the visual I was going with, that these cannons have the ability to scoot back. Um, these ones were just kind of, you know, I can put these here and call it good. You know, they're little, little short cannons. And my OCD kicked in when I noticed that every time I put the, uh, the observer down, it would close the gate. And at first it started to bug me. Yeah, so I'm going through and uh, fixing them. Now I also have an idea to uh, put little like slots in, that way it, it kind of gives you the feeling that if somebody was to shoot the cannon, somebody else could, you know, stand off to the side and tell them, hey, aim up, aim left, aim right, whatever. This is where my, my OCD kicks in and I try to fix the gates. Uh, and then this staircase didn't want to connect in right. I don't know what I was doing wrong. I do eventually figure it out. But I go through and I, you know, I do this to every single cannon. And yeah, until I figure out how I'm able to close these without doing it to each one every single time. I like, I can possibly try to fix them. Since I put my scaffolding away, I just decided, yeah, I'll use a stone wall, it's fine. Not fine. Because then I kind of forget where I put it. Wait, is it over here? No, it's over there. But yeah. And here we go again. I do figure it out, I promise. <laughs> right here, that's where I figure it out. That I can reach the gates from the water. I still try to fix some of them. But here we go. We have the cannons mostly set up. I still gotta put the levers on top so they have like that, that fuse deal going. And as you can see, you know, you can kinda stand off to the side and see out a little bit as if you were going to aim the cannon. And for the ones where they're in the wall, let me see if I can find one here. Like I know there's one somewhere. There we go. For the ones that are in the wall, you can actually reach in there and load and unload them if you so desired. So here we have the can. They're completely done. All the way down, completely finished. All I need to do is put the stone buttons on them and we're good. Uh, down here, you know, just to show you, I have the floor and everything. It's nicely lit. This will probably be a brig or a storage area with a little bit more storage up here. That's the plan. I do have some dark spots I still have to light up, otherwise I might get some mobs. You know, yeah, like that area I just looked at. I put some staircases along the edges to kind of make it look like the wood is coming all the way back to meet the ship instead of just floating. Uh, the rigging that we put in is that one there and that one there as well as the matching pair on the front. 
that was part of the stuff that got corrupted when I was making the video the first time, as well as spawn proofing all the sails with the carpet. And actually the scaffolding up at the top. There's more of the rigging there that uh, we did. And there's a lot of sails. Like, I was not expecting so much carpet. But yeah, I think the pearl turned out really good. I'll slowly add to it, decorate it, and fill it in more. But I'm going to start focusing more on the harbor now. If you guys have ideas for more builds, leave them in the comments. Like, it was you guys who gave me this idea. If you guys have ideas on how to decorate the pearl, what may, what should I get from the ancient city when I've been looted, or maybe from an end city, you know? What, what should I look for? What do you think would look good in here? You know, leave it in the comments. Let me know. I do read them, I do check them, I do, you know, let you know I'm there. If you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.